Welcome back to Jan Marie's Canning Kitchen. Today I'm going to show you how we can pineapple. I love canned pineapple. It's a great, great to have on your shelves. I like to can, can it in 250 ml jars only because we use it for like toppings on pizza and stuff like that. And um, so I'm just going to start with showing you how to cut up a pineapple. I just cut off this top. I just put it over there and I cut off the bottom. You can do whatever way feels comfortable to you. This is the way I do it, but you can do it any way you want, actually. And I just cut the sides here. I just go around, take as little off as possible, but you know, there's all kinds of little, I don't know, knots in pineapples. So I like to get as much out as I can. So I'm just gonna continue to cut until it's all done and then i'm just going to whip this over to my sink clean off my table here so you can still see there's some uh little brown spots the little holes i just cut those off i don't like them i like a more of a cleaner look but it's up to you what you like which works great whatever works great for you so now what i'm going to do is i'm going to cut my pineapple in half Oh, these are really slippery. And then I cut it in quarters. And then I continue and I just go like this and I cut out the core. And I do that with all four of them. I'm gonna cut this one in half. I'm gonna cut out the core. Sometimes it looks like it's an awful lot of ways, but you really don't want the core in, in your pineapple. <laughs> now, some of these still kind of have a little bit of, um, um, I call them little knots in them. I just cut those out because I don't really like them. And I'm just going to cut another size down and I'm just going to move these over. And then I'm just going to go like this, approximately one inch, three quarters of an inch to one inch. And I'm going to put them in my pot. I already have some in there. I've already cut up one pineapple. So I'll be using two pineapples today that I had. Do this again. And I'll just continue to cut till they're all cut up. And I've already sterilized all my jars and I am using 250 like I had mentioned earlier, just because I prefer a small one. There's a little bit of green on here yet that I'm gonna cut off. This one seems quite big, so I'm gonna cut it in three because I don't quite like my pieces quite that chunky. I'm just gonna continue to cut these and put them in my pot. And this one as well, I'm gonna cut into three. It's quite a bit bigger than the last two. I must have not quite had it. I'm gonna cut the end off here because it's kinda yucky. And I'm gonna continue to cut here. I'm not sure how many I'll get, but whatever I get, I'm fine with it. So here we go. Now I have a pot full of pineapple. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over to the stove here. And I'm going to add, I use this Sunripe 100% pineapple juice. I prefer to use pineapple juice. You can make a slight syrup if you want with just water and sugar to, up to your liking. It is totally up to you, but I'm gonna pour this into my pineapple and I'm gonna bring it to a boil and then I'll see you back in a minute. Well, I'm back and as you can see, the pineapple here in the pot is at a nice boil. I'm going to turn my water, my heat off and I'm going to, I'm using a slotted spoon and I'm gonna put all the pineapple in my 250 ml jars. Like I said before, I don't like the big jars because we don't eat enough of it in our family anyways. You might, you might want to use the 500 ml jars and that's totally fine. But for us, we just usually use one for pineapple for our pizzas and stuff. I'm just kind of having to bang these down a little bit to get some headspace. These pineapples are a little bit, um, they're big.
that's perfect for like a large pizza that you're doing for like your family. It is for us anyways. jar here. I wasn't sure how many I was going to get, so I took eight, but I'm not sure. I might get a little bit more. I do have a couple more jars to behind me here that are ready to go if I need be. This one jar could have a little bit extra. Not quite. I'm just going to bang these all down. Give them the I'm going to put a little bit more in each jar now that they're banged down and got all the bubbles out. It looks like I'm going to have uh, enough for one more jar, so I'm just going to grab one from behind here. These have all been sterilized and waiting. So it looks like I'm going to get nine 250 ml jars from two pineapples, which is pretty good. Add a little bit more to each one back there. Let's see which ones could use some extras because I just have a little bit more here. A couple more pieces. One in here. There we go. Now I'm going to just bang them down a little bit more, make sure all the bubbles are out. And I actually forgot to get my ladle to um, put into. To the jars the juice so i'm just going to go over here and just get my ladle for one second there we go got my ladle i'm just going to pour these pour the juice into the jars just up just give it an inch headspace it smells really good and really sweet i prefer to use the pineapple juice i know some people some people just even use just plain water and some people like a light syrup and they add sugar and that's fine too. It's all preference. So whatever you enjoy is totally fine. I don't want to add any extra sugar to my stuff. I try to keep away from that as much as possible. But everybody has their preference and it's up to you. There we go. Have a little bit of... Um, juice left over. But now I'm going to take my um, paper towel and I'm going to wipe each um, rim really nice and dry because this is really important. We want to get a great seal. You don't want anything that's going to stop that from happening. And it's pretty easy just to even have a little bit on top. They will not seal if you have any kind of grime or any kind of residue that's left on the pineapple. So here we go. And I have my handy dandy pot back here with all my lids in them. And I'm going to take each one out and I'm going to use this to keep my germs level as least as possible. Don't want to get any bacteria unnecessarily in any of your jars. Very important. I know Balls County says now that we do no longer have to keep our um, seals warm i still continue to do it i think it's good i've never had a problem with mine not sealing so oops i'm gonna just leave that one there and start with a new one here wash that one back up for something else so here we go they're all ready to go now i have my lids here and i just do them just a little bit tighter than finger tight, not much more. And I'm actually water bathing these, not pressure canning. And I'm going to um, water bath them at 20 minutes for my elevation. And my elevation is 25, I believe it's around 2400 for us here. Oh, I lost another one. A little bit crazy here. There we go. Just get that one put back on. Um, and this one's not very tight either. And I am short one sealer because I added a jar. So I will get another seal here. 
Okay, now I'm just gonna move over here to my water bath. If you, I'm not using my regular water bath counter because it's outside and it's too big and I don't really need it, but I'm just gonna use my huge stock pot. And what I've done is I have a, I bought an extra um, bottom part for it so that the jars aren't sitting right directly on the bottom. So if you don't have that, all you have to do, I use, I've done it before, is I've just folded up a, a dish cloth or a face cloth or a towel just so that the jars aren't sitting at the bottom of the counter directly on that heat because then they will break and you don't want that. So now I'm going to put these all into my water bath counter and I'm hoping to get, I, I believe I can get all of these in here from before. I think I can get nine, eight or nine for sure in here. I know for sure eight, but I think I can get nine. I'm hoping I do because I have nine. And it's a little cool outside and I really didn't want to go out and um, fool around outside with my propane and everything. Let me see. Oh yeah, look at that. I can get perfectly nine in here. So now I'm going to put the lid on and I'm going to let this come to a full boil. And once it's a full rolling boil, then I'm going to start timing it for 20 minutes. And then I'll be back and I'll show you the finished product. Well, we are back. My timer's gone off and the pineapple has been... Um, cooking and boiling for the last 20 minutes or so. And so now I'm going to take it out. Hopefully I can get it out here nice and... Wow, look at that, it's so beautiful. I have got nine jars, so... I have hard water, so if you can, you notice, it's a little bit um, um, kind of white film on top. I just take a rag after and I just wipe that off. Now these are going to sit here for about 12 hours or so. And eventually we'll start to hear the little pop. And that will tell me that they sealed. Oh, see, there goes one already. It's already starting to seal. It turned out there's another pop. They turned out beautiful. So now I'm just gonna sit them here, let them sit for the next 12 hours or so. And then I'll just kind of go around and make sure that they're all sealed and I'll take off my rims and check them. And we will put them on our shelves for the winter. See you later. Make sure to like, share and subscribe. See you later.